I'm excited to be able to give you a quick demo of how our advocacy program works. We have this both on Mayo Clinic Connect and here on the Mayo Clinic social media network. There are somewhat different versions. Actually, the only difference is there's some additional content here on the Mayo Clinic social media network that comes from our blog posts here on the network. If you go under resources and pick Champions Storyboard, uh, you'll see the list of articles. There's popular and recent, and I'm gonna just go ahead and click view all. And I'm going to share uh, three different stories here, just showing you how it works on various uh, platforms, sharing on different platforms. So if I go to this story, Mayo Clinic publishes new edition of Family Health Book. This Mayo Clinic Family Health Book has been a staple uh, for many years, especially in the pre-internet age. And Dr. Scott Litton uh, is um, the editor-in-chief, I believe. I worked with him um, long ago in our Mayo Clinic Media Relations. If I want to share this on Facebook, and I click on the Facebook icon, um, and I will click, I, and I have the ability to change the um, suggested text. Um, once I pick something that I like, I can click share on Facebook, and it will open up a new window, at which point I'll expand. Now, to share on Facebook, I need to paste in the text, and I'll go ahead and post it as a public post on Facebook. Pretty straightforward. Once that's done, now I'm going to go see, what, see that it shows up on Facebook. So opening my Facebook profile, you'll see there it is. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, Champions storyboard and pick out another one. And this one I'm, I want to share on LinkedIn. So I'm going to click Top 7 Reasons to Attend the Mayo Clinic Social Media Network Annual Conference. By the way, I hope you'll plan to join us. It's uh, November 14th and 15th in Jacksonville, Florida. And Florida in November is reason number six. This is a blog post by Dan Hinman, our community director. Here I'm going to, uh, again, check and change the, the text, the suggested text. If I click LinkedIn and then go ahead share on LinkedIn. It will open my LinkedIn profile and I can paste that text in. And I'm going to now share it and it'll be on my profile. I'll do a third and share this one just to Twitter. Let's start an argument with the importance of childhood vaccines. I'm going to tweet that right now. Uh, the interesting thing when I uh, want to share on Twitter, uh, it will open up with the text already pre-populated. So unlike LinkedIn and Facebook where you will you need to copy in the text. Um, this time it's already pre-populated. So that's an easier thing about sharing on Twitter. Then finally, I want to go back and share another of these on, um, on Buffer. So Buffer is a little different program in that it allows you to schedule for uh, into the future on a really easy uh, basis. You don't have to pick the time, but you actually have a buffer where you pre-select some times that you would like to be uh, regularly uh, publishing to Twitter. And in this case, I'm going to go down here to the bottom and say share with buffer. And just like 
remember the content comes up pre-populated. You can pick whichever image you would like to use with it. You also can add uh, different um, uh, text or you can adjust the text. In this case, I'm going to um, remove the, uh, add the ampersand sign to make this a tag of Mayo Clinic. And what I'll just do here is add to queue. And it tells me that it's been added to my queue. Now I'd done a few of these earlier, um, and I'm going to refresh my uh, buffer account. And I'll just give you a quick show of what that looks like. I had previously scheduled a few, but now um, this is that post that I had just uh, suggested. So it's going to go out uh, at 10.07 a.m. on Friday, it looks like. So this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I've scheduled some different times of day for uh, tweets to go out. So whether I, whenever I'm browsing on the web, I can just add it to buffer and it'll come out at one of these uh, pre-scheduled times. The big benefit of this is that it keeps you from having, if you're tweeting five things um, within a few minutes, they don't all just show up tweet, 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 tweet. Uh, they're sort of spread uh, throughout the week and allows you to have a more constant social media presence with just a few minutes a day. So it's really helpful to use the Champions Storyboard to have uh, uh, curated news that you uh, have trustworthy, good, solid news from Mayo Clinic that you can share. Uh, and it's all gathered in one place. So for those who are really interested in being able to have a good social media presence with a minimum of time uh, devoted to it, uh, that's exactly what this is for. Uh, and it is a really great resource and I hope you like it. And I hope you'll also provide your feedback on how it works for you. Thanks.